Hi, I'm Mac Calloway here at NYHQ. I am a human performance and education specialist with Kaiser, and we're here to discuss our Kaiser rack. As you can see, you can walk up to a rack. We have iron-based resistance here, but we also have a pneumatic system. Remember, Kaiser is based on pneumatics, air compression. We can utilize our pulley systems down below or our pulley systems up on, up on top to utilize the air, or you can utilize a combination of both iron and air. And I'm gonna show you all these with a step-by-step -step approach. Let's take a look at our Kaiser bench. To adjust the bench, you're gonna notice these yellow knobs here. All you have to do is press up, and then you can pull up to see any adjustments, and it will go in 15 degree increments. You can lower it down, and again, you can take, there's a little handle at the bottom of the bench. You just lift it up, it's on wheels. You can roll it out and adjust it however you want, and you can come back in and it will lock in place so you don't have to worry about that bench moving around back and forth. To adjust our J hooks here, notice that they are locked into place. In order to adjust them up or down, we just push the button in, we lift up, and we release out. Same thing, when you put them back in, you just want to make sure that they're locked into place. And then know that you have our safety bars as well. Same thing, there's not a clip, you just have to raise up and lift out, and you can adjust the same thing, just make sure that they're locked into place. When to use the pneumatic system on our Kaiser rack to add and decrease resistance, you're gonna notice that there's pedals on the ground. There's a positive pedal, and then there's a negative pedal, and that's to increase the resistance. If I was gonna press the positive, you can see on our Kaiser display screen, as I press positive, the resistance is going to go up, and as I press negative, the resistance is going to go down. You're gonna hear that little sound where it's gonna decrease the resistance, and if I was gonna perform a single rep, you would see on that display screen that would show up as one rep. This is our power output in watts, and this is a percentage of our power output. If I was going to do a second rep, not as fast, you're gonna notice that one was 88% of my best rep. Now to clear the machine, if somebody else wants to come in, you would press the positive and negative pedals at the same time until you see C-L-E-R, display in the screen. That went into our test, and it will just clear it off back to zero. Now, you can also see on the back of the machine there is a positive and negative buttons that will use the same thing to clear the machine or to add or decrease the resistance as well. Again, we're gonna use our Kaiser pneumatic system and our Kaiser light bar. We can utilize this for whatever exercises you want, whether you're benching, squatting, pulling, etc. Put it in our J-hooks, and now you have our resistance down here. We pull these up. Now, before we pull these up, we wanna make sure that we have 10 pounds or less on our system. Again, we don't wanna to have to pull up 30 or 40 pounds of resistance. So when I pull them up, I got less than 10 pounds. I usually just have my hand underneath the cable system, and you're gonna notice the shape of this will fit the shape of the bar and you're just gonna slide it into place, and obviously you're gonna do both sides. So if you're using the pneumatic system and you wanna do something that's overhead and you're a little bit taller than most people, we can use our extension pieces here. So this one, all you're gonna do is clip this in to our light bar, and then you can pull your cable system up. Remember, 10 pounds or less, so we can actually hold on to it, and we're gonna just Clip it in, and we have our extensions on there. So now, when we're pressing overhead, we have full range of motion, and our cable system's not gonna run out. Like any traditional rack, you can utilize your mass-based or your free weight system, utilizing your regular standard bar. Again, we just wanna slide this on and then always use our safety clips or collars to slide on and lock our weight in place. So if we wanna use our standard Olympic bar, we can also use just iron or we can use just air with our standard bar by using our Kaiser collar. You just slide this onto your standard bar. 
with the flat side facing out. And then you could just take your cable system and hook it in that way. And you could place your collar on top of that. Or you could add your air plus your iron. Again, that's why we want that flat side facing out. We could put our iron on top of it and then we'll use our collar to lock in place. We're utilizing the air system and your mass base system at the same time. Notice on our Kaiser rack up above, we have our pull-up stations here. We have articulating handles that rotate around 360 degrees and you can move them in and out to the desired location that you prefer. So if you want to use the cable systems up on top, I have the cables wrapped here. And you can see, you can just unwrap the cables where you have both sides, an outer side and an inner side. What you're going to want to do is take the outside cable and you're going to want to hook it in to our bottom pulley system. So we're locking it into place and that way it has tension on the line. And then you can take, for example, take a handle and you can take your top portion and you can put a handle on there and then you can perform exercises with resistance from coming up on top such as maybe a lat pull down maybe you're sitting on a bench or you're sitting on the ground and we can do a single arm lat pull obviously you could hook up the second cable as well and do that or you could do your chops from a high position from that standpoint Another example that you could use your upper pulley system for is maybe for a rehab setting where you can hold both handles or you could have the bar set up, you could have your resistance on there and say that you wanted to perform a squat with less than body weight. You could take off a percentage of your body weight and you can actually have that squat position this way where it's pulling you back up this way. You could utilize the bar with the same thing as well. Or if you wanna be more dynamic, you could do dynamics over speed jumps where you're actually jumping and it's pulling you up. Again, we could jump up and it's taking our body weight off of you as well to work over speed training. As you're wrapping up your workout, we wanna make sure that we clean up our working space. So we'll take your bars and you can just place them back up and hang them up. We wanna make sure that if you utilize the pulley system up on above, I take the outer pulley system and I just pull it all the way down and I wrap it around on the inside and I just wrap it around here so it's out of the way. Everything's nice and clean. We can just tuck it in and then we wanna finish off by if you were utilizing the bench. Again, we pull up the handle and we place it back in. It's locked into place. As you're wrapping up your workout, you want to make sure that you clean up your working space for that next person. So what we want to do is make sure that if you were utilizing a bar, that we're placing that bar back into place. And if you're utilizing the pulley systems up on top, remember you have your lines. We don't want to just leave them hanging out. We want to make sure that we just pull that outside cable all the way tight. And what I do is I just wrap it around on the inside of the rack. So again, we don't have cables just hanging there. And then if you were utilizing the bench, we want to make sure that we pull that bench back into place by raising that handle. It's on wheels. It's locked into place. And then our station is set up ready for that next person. Now, if you want to make sure that you know, you can go to that QR code and it will link you to box to find out any other information that you might want. For example, other exercises that you could perform with our equipment or any other educational information as well. Thanks a lot.